This is the 15th play of the drive. Four runs, 10 passes. Second to go. Cooper was always someone who could get open consistently and catch the ball consistently. You go back to the 17 senior bowl, most of the guys that he's going to be going against are going to be in the NFL or at least have a shot. And guess what he did? He got open and caught the ball and, like always, became probably a quarterback favorite because getting open, catching the ball. He's a bigger person than you might think. He's a lot stronger person than you might think. That's why he's going to break the tackle just about every single time he catches the ball. He can separate, and he's got an elite ability to change directions. When you add all of that up, there's Cooper Cup. What do we call it, triple crown? Winner. That's the ingredients. Being able to earn the Triple Crown this year was an incredible honor. It's something that I don't take lightly. The work that it takes across the board, coaches, every single player that I step on that field with. Oh, he had 10 yards of separation. He brings it in. To be in this kind of an offense, to be on this kind of a team, it's an incredible honor that I don't take lightly. The big thing about last year, I mean, there's a lot of you know, statistical stuff that people are looking at, but you know, for me, it's not about getting more yards. It's not about getting more catches, more touchdowns. It's, it's not about that as much as it is being a better football player. I want to be a better football player than I was the year before. Somehow as I've warmed up, I've gotten slower. So that's not ideal when it comes to speed training. There's, there's a lot of things, I think, across the board that I want to be better at. Generically, I mean, bigger, stronger, faster. If I, you know, be bigger, stronger, faster than I was before, you know, the best way to get faster is to run fast. All the stuff you do in the weight room, out in the field in terms of the speed work, that just kind of supplements to whatever your skill work is. If my skill work's not there, it doesn't matter how big, how fast, how strong I am. The most important thing is the, the skills that you play with that ultimately you put to use when you're on the football field. Coop, congrats on the win first off. I wanted to ask you, obviously OBJ went down in the first half. You and Matt Stafford essentially took over the game on that game winning drive when you couldn't really get anything else going. How did you and Matt just kind of accomplish that and get down to the end zone and score that game winning touchdown? So catching that second touchdown, you're in this place where you're you're excited because you, you just got the opportunity, you just went up in the Super Bowl. This is the 15th play of the drive. Second to go. Pass. Cut. Got it. Touchdown. We're able to put the team ahead, but the game's not over. That's the mindset. That was kind of always going through my head initially. It's just like, as soon as the catch happens, it's like, great, we're up, but it's not over. Someone's got to go out there and make a great play for us, and uh, you saw the defense go out and did their thing. Burrow trying to keep it going, gets spun down, gets it away, and incomplete. And gets it. The Rams were built to win the Super Bowl, and they have sealed the deal. No play's too big, no situation is too big. You just get to go out there and, and do your job because you know you've prepared the right way. All right, last sprint here. You know, one of the big things from last year was the importance of trusting in your process. There's things that went wrong during the course of our season, things that go wrong in the course of a game. There's going to be wins, there's going to be losses. We go on a three-game losing streak, the process didn't change. You just trust that this is what we do, this is what we're about, we're going to set ourselves up, we just keep our heads down, keep grinding, this thing's going to turn around. And, uh, you know, we trusted that and we were able to, to make it come to life. What's up, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. My wife, Kira, always says don't use the word unique unless it's unique. And she would say unique means there's probably only one. 
His drive is unique. I want to be a better football player than I was the year before. It might not be reflected in the statistical production. When you watch the film, I want to say I am better now than I was the year previous. Preparations you know, set me up to just be the best that I can be. So now I just get to follow my checklist of things. Now we move forward. You know, you, you take the off season to find those things. What things need to be more efficient at? What things you can do in your process to make you that much better? And then you just live by that day after day.